The first thing is we're going to look at desktop software. So these are the three components that you need in basically any navigation setup, but definitely for my discussion on mobile, um, that is this is what we're going to chat. Okay, so let's get back. So the three components is you've got desktop software. We're going to quickly look at that. You've got your actual navigation device being uh, uh, obviously a mobile or GPS. I'm only going to look at the mobile side. Um, and then we've got the software on the phone, which is probably the biggest question people ask is, is what is the best software on the phone? So I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm quickly going to take you guys through what I know. Let's start with the desktop software. I think the three, the only three ones that I'm really going to touch on at this stage is let's start with Basecamp. Um, I've been using them literally since the first version. And one of my big problems, you guys can see, I've got a massive database of routes. Um, these are just some of the um, adventure bike routes that I that I that I like. Um, but the problem that I have with Basecamp is that it's, they've never really changed anything on the software, and it makes it really disappointing because this is very old school and very limited in relation to just what the other products have to offer. So I'm not going to talk about Basecamp, but just so that you guys know. I still use Basecamp, but I actually only use it to convert files and file formats. I don't actually use it for, or virtually for any type of, of root, um, root development. So if you guys still do, um, that's great. <laughs> Hopefully I'll, I can show you a little different way to do that. The next piece of software was obviously Google Earth. I wasn't able to demonstrate that, but Google Earth is literally this year, 20 years old. And I think it's, it's probably, I, I personally think it's one of the wonders of the world. Um, and Google Earth is based on the fact that the whole globe has been satellite photoed for 20 years and prior. And Google basically stitched all these maps together. And we basically now have what we call Google Earth so that we can obviously map and plan. However, what people don't know, always realize is, is Google Earth does have tools to design maps. But Google Earth is actually a presentation platform. Google Earth is to show places. It's, it's actually to use for satellite views and it's actually not for navigation or, or routing which brings us to google maps um, and as you guys know google maps i think everyone uses google maps at some stage so i use it on a daily basis because i commute between the cities and customers um, and i use google navigation for um, well specifically for what it was was meant for which i'm just going to close here um, which is basically to navigate and to where I basically travel between cities or between points and I actually use Google's auto navigation and the Google Google basically says in 200 meters turn left at the roundabout take the second and we all know that um, so Google Earth is also great when it comes to, to 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 navigating based on routes however most of the riding that I do is is off-road um, and there's either no tracks or there's single track or there's jeep track. In other words, you can't use a formal navigation. You have to include some kind of mapping to that. And in comes some, a, a Google product that not a lot of people know of. And that's actually the basis of this discussion. And that is um, Google My Maps. That a lot of people don't know about Google My Maps. And that's actually where all the action happens. So the great thing is that Google My Maps is a free product from Google. And it basically is the platform where you design your own maps, um, which is um, really, really cool um, and super functional. And you can't do that on Google Earth or Google Maps the way that you can my maps. So remember, part of this discussion is going to go um, is going to demonstrate what to do with Google My Maps.